you can even just hold it top thumbs up look i know you get a t-top you can do that you have learned to catch it softly drive it down drive it down stand up but look up yeah good more reach your bottom shoulder sit up yep there you go do that same motion you did with me on the beach stand up with it nice hey Alan, look at her nice drive Don't it stop. keep it fluid go stand up with it excellent go don't stop in the back. Pick it up. Pick it up. Good. You're not breathing, honey. Breathe. <laughs> Exhale. Exhale. Go. Fast. But not fast enough to rip the water. Good. That is about as perfect as you can get. Good. Okay, good. All right. Now, keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. Look at your release. Yeah, keep stacking your top hand over your bottom hand. Go. Yes, stand up. Look up. Look at the camera directly good stand up with it good okay you see how how far sideways you're feathering the blade that's absolutely not necessary okay really good grab so let's talk about the release right so the tendency is to do if you've got a good catch and now you do this watch the top hand straight down straight side and come back straight here again this is what I call Hollywood Kung Fu, right? It's like Chris Rock in Southern Russia. All these arm movement. Bruce Lee is going to go pow, you're done. All that excessive movement is a waste of time. Look, you want to have a forward release. Look. Look where my top hand is. Yeah, I'm only, I'm only doing a small slice of the pie. Look, your shoulder has 360 degrees of movement, right? Your stroke, what you're doing, is down, sideways, and up. So every stroke, I take, I take a quarter slice of the whole pie, right? So there's no way to do a fast body sprint stroke if you're doing this. Look at all that lateral movement, right? I'm trying to make the boat go this way, or the board is always this way. It's never this way. Right, so if I do this, you're also feathering out this way. If you throw the force that way, what are you doing to the boat? Pushing it out. Now, on a dragon boat, well, it's a lot of weight, so it might not bend on your OC one. You're prying yourself sideways all the time. So if you're the armor side, you do this. Right? So your bracing on the non armor side. Right? It's all up front. You don't have to stop and break. I understand why people do so you can brace. But if your stroke is solid, you don't have to brace. Every stroke on the non amasa is a brace. Right? Okay, we, yeah. So you're never having to stop. Because if you think about it, the most unstable time in a boat is when you stop. That's why you stand up, it's even higher. Now you really cannot stop. Look at the wind, yeah? Like in fact, it just died down yeah. for your benefit. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea is to never ever brace. If you panic already, you'll never have to brace. That's a, a, that's a couple of dragon boat coaches or propellers who are now launching into OC1 transition and they're teaching this online. Yeah. You know that. I know. That, <laughs> stop and brace. What? Ha, 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 ha. 